our last speaker until our next uh, until our break. Then after that, we'll come back and have the second round of talks. And three slides. Start at the first slide. I will. Uh, <laughs> and during that last talk, I talked to Jeff Barr, and we now have a complimentary S3 account where we'll upload all the presentations, so they will be available probably by Monday. So thank you. Guys. So, my name is Brian Aker. Uh, if you are a user of the MySQL database, ever use something like Apache, or spend half your day on Slashdot, I'm pretty responsible for a bunch of that. Um, <laughs> how to hack your home phone system. So what do I do during the day, or basically during the night, or when I don't work, which isn't all that often? I piss my lover off because I decide that I'm going to turn the uh, house phone system into, well, let's say, put a computer in instead of like normal telephone system. Um, not a great idea. And of course, this was all spawn because she said, hey, let's go buy a new house. So, say, so I said, well, that's a really great idea because if we bought a new house, then I could do something like tear all the walls out and put cable runs in it and do everything a geek ever wants to do, which also turns out to, does the phone work today? Um, which also turns out to uh, someone who had never wanted to ever buy a cell phone, owning a cell phone within about the first month or two. So we go off, we get a new house, start tearing out the walls, put in, this, put in you know, cable runs, all this other crazy shit. And the first thing, of course, I do is I say no telephones. We will not have telephones. There will be no telephones. There will be a computer in the house that will handle everything that involves being telephony. These are some terms I'm going to speak about. PBX, private branch extension. This is the computer. That's to blame. FXO, this receives a signal. FXS generates a signal, aka that's what you plug the phone into. It's very important. What is Asterix? Asterix is the open source software that makes all of this actually happen. It was made by one geek who decided, well, I'll start up a consulting company. And since I started a consulting company, what's the first thing I've got to do? So I'm going to consult on Linux. I'm going to write an entire phone system because that's a great business idea. <laughs> so what he did is he went and said, you know, it would cost me $20,000 to do all of this. Wow, that's great. Or what I could do is I could spend two years of development time before starting the company and live in my parents' basement and create the software. So Mark went off, created the software, decided to, hey, let's go revolutionize this stuff. You know, instead of spending $20,000, $40,000 on machines, um, let's just put a computer in it, make Linux work, and start trying to hook up analog and SIP phones. This is a Wildcat card. You can get these off of eBay for about 15 bucks. This is your intro to how to make this start happening. These also die within six months, and if you're not careful when they die, they take out also local other customer phone systems. And make sure you disconnect it before the phone company shows up because they're mad. Very mad. This is what you really want to buy. It's a TDM uh, 400P. And if Greg Linden's in the office and he's my uh, neighbor, yeah, I was responsible for that. <laughs> TDM 400P, this is a great card. Um, that card, uh, the little red blue ones, don't mix up the line or it's 80 bucks to fix the part of the card. Budget tones, these are SIP phones. You can get them for 20, 40 bucks off of eBay. They're being shipped in large container crates uh, to our port from Taiwan because of uh, the just the amazing growth there is in uh, Telephony. Right now, Supro 2000, so you're saying, well, but this is a bunch of cards and, well, I'm a Mac user, right? Mac users. <laughs> Well, you're saying, though, but hey, I'm not, I can't get these cards on my computer. Well, Supro 2000 is a nice little $70 box that you plug the telephone into it, and it, through the magic of Ethernet, then communicates with your computer. And if you didn't want to go off and buy a Supra 3000, when the Supra 2000 dies, the 3000 has a great feature. When it burns up, the, you can still plug a regular telephone in it and still dial out. <laughs> Amazing, amazing thing. And you know what's amazing? You can also stick all of this in a 1U computer. So for all of us who are, you know, you know, using Rackspace stuff, this is what actually runs my entire house nowadays, or the telephony system, is that one little card right there sitting in this computer in a basement where it's getting way too fucking hot. Tricks box. <laughs> You're going to need a distribution. You do not want to go and get Fedora Core and try to make this happen. You do not want to try to get Ubuntu. You will be screaming at kernel drivers left and right. Go get Tricks box. Download it. It's a great system. It, they recently got bought up by a company called Finality. All kinds of crazy ass shit that allow you to do mashups in your house with your telephony system. Remember that part about 50 ways to piss off your lover? This is where you start at it. So, and? Just try new hack, Jack. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, 
dial a song. Friend of mine has a band. Hey, what would be a great idea? Let's go get a bunch of free telephone lines that we can off this crazy company in Washington uh, out on the east side, and we'll create a dial a song for the band. Great idea. Destroys the T1 to the house. Set up a number. Oh, crap. It missed the good one. Um, dial a monkey. I'm going to talk about dial a monkey. Oh, or live journal. By the way, if you actually end up deciding you want to do one of these crazy ass things and you need on hold music, just point the MP3 server directly at live journal's mod MP3. You can hear teenagers bitching about their lives. This freaks out. This completely freaks out your coworkers when they call and you put them on hold. Aimbot. I have this aimbot that sits there and every time the phone rings it sends me a message to my client. It's kind of cool. Uh, but we missed the, the screaming monkeys, which is a hell of a lot cooler, which is the whole concept that if you get telemarketers who you hate, when you pick up that phone and you hear their voice, you hit 42 and you hit pound and you put the phone back down and then there's a screaming monkey noise sound that just devastates their eardrops.